Hi, good day. Let us learn about the applications of electromagnetic waves. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. These waves can be longer than a football field or as short as a football. Radio waves have wavelengths that range from less than a centimeter to tens or even hundreds of meters. They are used to transmit radio and television signals. Radio waves have a very wide range of wavelengths. The whole region of the radio waves is divided into smaller regions of wave bands. Each wave band is allocated by law to a specific radio service. The wavelengths and frequencies of the different wave bands and their uses are shown in this table. Low frequency waves are suitable for communication over great distances, but the curvature of the Earth limits the range to about 80 kilometers. To extend the range, a repeater is used. The repeater receives the signal and retransmits it to the receiving station. High frequency waves can be reflected by the ionosphere. This enables the waves to be transmitted over great distances. Medium and high frequency waves are used for broadcasting by local radio stations. In a radio station, sound is converted by a microphone into patterns of electric current variations called audio frequency or AF signals. High frequency radio waves called radio frequency carriers can be modulated to match the electronic signal. In amplitude modulation or AM, the amplitude of the radio waves or RF carrier changes to match that of the audio frequency signal. This is used in standard broadcasting because it can be sent over long distances. Very high frequency waves, a higher quality broadcasting, including stereo sound. In this process, instead of the amplitude of the RF carrier, it is the frequency of the waves that changes to match that of the signal. This is called frequency modulation, or FM. Microwaves are basically extremely high frequency radio waves. They have very short wavelengths ranging from approximately 1 mm as thick as a pencil lead to 30 cm. They can be found between very high frequency waves and conventional radio waves. Microwaves are made by various types of transmitters. A transmitter is an electronic device which with the aid of an antenna produces radio waves. They are used in satellite communications, radar, television transmission, and cooking. Microwaves can penetrate the atmosphere of the Earth. This is the reason why they are used for satellite communications. Communication satellites travel around the Earth at an altitude of 35,000 kilometers above the equator. They move at a speed of 11,300 kilometers per hour and revolve around the Earth every 24 hours, the same rate as the rotation of the Earth. This makes them appear to be stationary when seen on Earth. Antennas are mounted to point in fixed directions towards these satellites. Microwave signals are transmitted by an antenna to a satellite which amplifies and retransmits the signal to an antenna in other parts of the world. This is how we communicate with the rest of the world. Microwaves have short wavelengths and are reflected by small objects. This property is used in radars. Radar is the acronym of radio detection and ranging. A radar system is consists of an antenna, transmitter, and a receiver. The antenna wheels around continuously to scan the surrounding area. The transmitter sends out a narrow beam of microwaves in short pulses. A distant object reflects some of the signal back to the receiver. The direction to which the signal was received 
gives the direction of the object. The distance of the object can be calculated from the time lag between the transmitted pulse and the reflected pulse. Microwaves are used to transmit television news coverage from mobile broadcast vehicles back to the station. The news crew can also set up a small antenna to send signals to a communication satellite. This is how news are broadcasted and watched live around the world. A cell phone is a radio transmitter and receiver that uses microwaves. Cellular phones depend on overlapping networks of cells or areas of length several kilometers in diameter. Each cell has its tower that receives and sends microwave signals. The figure gives you further understanding on the process. In a microwave oven, foods absorb certain microwave frequencies very strongly. The microwaves penetrate the food being heated. It will agitate the water molecules within the food, thus creating molecular friction which then produces heat that will cook it. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.